Alright, welcome back to Pints of Interest and this particular shirt series uh, that we have going on here. What we're going to be doing today is Victory's Hop Wallop, a very hoppy ale. Um, this is an Imperial IPA, so for the glassware that you can traditionally use with this, um, typically you're going to use a tulip or a snifter with this one. So we actually went with two snifters because we didn't have a tulip available to us at the moment. And then I get the, the unfortunate uh, distinction control. of okay. using the control pint glass uh, for this one. That's not so. that unfortunate though. No, that's true. We have found some things not always, about it. That's yeah. true. It's not always bad or anything like that, but just it just seems more special out of this and you get the nice gold color and everything. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and give this one a try. The beer is Hop Wallop, brewed by Victory Brewery. It's an Imperial IPA. It costs us $12. The ABV is 8.5%. The glassware that should be used for this is a tulip or snifter. In a pinch, you can use an oversized wine glass as well. The serving temperature for this is between 57 and 61 degrees Fahrenheit. We drank it at 58 degrees. And its availability is year round. All right, welcome back, um, or or welcome ourselves back, I guess. Welcome us back. <laughs> We're back after uh, doing our tasting and uh, talking about the results here between the two glasses. Again, Tom and Ryan are using a classic snifter glass, and I am using a standard English pint. All right, also known as a nonic glass. All right, so for the aroma for these particular ones, we'll first start with our pint glass here as our base. Uh, what I got from this was, it was all very mild. I, I picked out a very mild pine kind of resin sweetness to it with just a, a slight amount of like an acid. Uh, it could be potentially orange or lemon or something along those lines, but it was just a little bit of an acidic thing. Overall, the aroma is very light with the pint glass. Uh, how do you guys feel about the, the snifters here, Ryan? You wanna... Yeah, snifter-wise, um, I think it really got more of a bright, uh, almost citrusy hop aroma. You know, came through a lot more. Um, personally, I got more of the, the hop was kind of there, but more alcohol. It wasn't as bright or honestly as pleasant as what I got in the snifter. All right. So as far as the taste is concerned, uh, with this one, I found to be very had a very sharp bitterness to it, a very prickly. A hot bitter that went throughout the entire taste for me personally. I thought it was crisp but because of that bitterness it really kind of, I wouldn't say necessarily sculpin crisp or anything like that. It wasn't like a clean crisp. It was like, if this makes any sense, kind of a dirty crisp to it. The dirtiness. Dirty, dirty crisp. <laughs> <laughs> the dirtiness kind of from the, the bitter but it was still sh like sharp so for me it was it was crisp and it had just a little bit of a resin sweetness to it and then just kind of ended in a very long hoppy bitter note that kind of stays on your tongue. Uh, I also noticed that it was just to me a little bit buttery in its mouthfeel. Just a little bit, I wouldn't go like oily, that's to me a little bit more of a negative mouthfeel. It's just a little bit buttery, maybe you have kind of elements of that. And I also, for this one, I thought the alcohol came through just a little bit more and there's a little bit more of a stickiness again, kind of like the last one that we did. Uh, how do you feel about the, the um, Well, in this, the snifter, the, the taste for me, it, um, I definitely get a bitter hop. I got a creamy, a creamy mouthfeel for myself off of this one. Um, uh, it's, it's a bit sweet. Um, I don't notice the alcohol. Uh, in this one, uh, it's a nice, sweet, sort of grassy. Did you uh, notice the alcohol in this in the comparison, or did you just not notice the alcohol? I did not down? notice it. You know, in, in the pint, I actually got a more of a tea type flavor from the hop, okay. as opposed to the sort of the sweet, bitter hop. I feel it has a nice, clean, sort of bitter finish. Um, it's not a nasty bitter on your on your tongue or whatever, but it's it's definitely still there. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not unpleasant to me in that, in that regard. So. Um, I think, personally, I would have liked a little more of that sculpin-like crispness to, uh, to, balance to, out the, <laughs> to balance out the bitterness. It's a little too bitter for me, but that's my personal feeling. Um, just 
about that. Uh, in the pint glass, though, I noticed it seemed like a lot of the flavors were a bit muted and pushed towards the finish. Um, there wasn't; a, it seemed to lack a middle that I was getting with the with the snifter. So it did seem to make a difference. I think one of the biggest things that we need to emphasize here is there was a creamier mouthfeel to the snifter that was not at all present in the pint. Not even close. And I think that that's what really helped cut down the bitterness. What how he said that the. The bitterness was kind of like a, a little, it rode through everything and kind of had a nice ending, whereas this one was kind of more of a bam, bitterness, and then just stayed with you kind of thing. It didn't, it didn't even out, didn't have that balance in the flavor here. So what do you guys think um, between the pint glass and the snifter, what would you choose to drink this in? I would Absolutely. choose to, uh, to drink it out of this. <laughs> Unanimous, not even <laughs> close to a doubt here, we choose out of this, the snifter. Now, we mentioned that the tulip glass is also a possibility. You can see if uh, you want to give that one a try. Maybe even can try to compare the tulip to the snifter. Uh, I wish we had one with us so we could do all three and figure out which one yeah, would work be best. Right? But for what we have available to us, snifter, hands down, no problem. Absolutely. All right. So what about the beer itself? Uh, it probably came through in my comments, but I think it's okay. I think it's a try if. It's a little too bitter for me, uh, particularly that the bitterness hangs on for so long, um, you know, it has a very long finish that uh, is a bit bitter. Um, but overall, as far as Imperial IPAs go, it's pretty good. So, um, I'm going to give it a uh, try if as well. Um, it seems, I did enjoy it, so I guess it's not going to be on the top, the high end of a try if for me. Um, however, I'm trying being an Imperial, I'm going to always compare it to Founders Double Trouble, <laughs> uh, which I enjoy immensely. Um, so I would prefer that over this. Um, it doesn't feel like an Imperial IPA no. to me. And I'm wondering, I'm thinking maybe well, that except that's... Except in the one place I find it does is that that creamier, more buttery mouthfeel. And I think that's because of the higher alcohol yeah, content it makes it a bit mm -hmm. denser. And that's probably where you're seeing the difference in the Imperial as opposed to not, but alcohol-wise, I agree. Yeah, no, I, 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 alcohol I yeah, and I, I think maybe that this one that I, I, I think it doesn't marry that bitter with the, the everything else really well. So there's a little bit of a distinction. You, you get the bitter, and then the other flavors where with the other imperials mix. They, they tend to to mix them blend and, and balance, blend it a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm actually, surprisingly, going to disagree with both of them and go for a recommended on this one. I actually enjoyed this one quite a bit, especially out of the, the Snifter grass. Good ass. Not grass. <laughs> Snifter grass. And uh, I like the creamy mouth of all of it. I, think, I don't think it shines as far as if you want to compare it to other Imperial IPAs that we had, like Tom right. mentioned. There are better ones. <laughs> certainly. Them. Yes, well, whatever. Um, <laughs> there are certainly better ones uh, than this, but I think this is a great example. Uh, for us, this is something that's very easy to get because it's from Victory, which is just in Downingtown, which isn't too far from where we're at. You can get better beers out there, but you're going to pay a lot more for them, and this one works for me. I like it. It is just a little on the bitter side, but I see that as a benefit to it, especially for the, the bitter heads out there, that the bitter the better. Uh, types, I think you're totally going to enjoy this, and it's a worthy addition to the world of Imperial IPAs. Alright, but because of these two, we're doing Try If. You should try this beer if you like a strong, bitter hot finish, you like your IPA with subdued resin pine, and you like your Imperial IPAs light on the alcohol taste. So, for Hop Wallop and Pints of Interest, cheers. cheers. cheers.